Carly from Main Street Farms and I'm here to teach you guys today how to blanch and freeze greens. This is a really important skill uh, if you want to be a CSA master because you get a ton of greens throughout the season and one of my favorite things in the winter is to pull out greens from the summer. It just gives me a taste of summer and reminds me that the fall will come soon. So in this week's share we have a lot of different greens that you can actually blanch and freeze. Um, we have arugula, or you might have a different kind of spicy green. Uh, we have turnip tops, and we have kale. So I'm going to show you guys how to blanch and freeze each of these things. The turnip tops, they are edible. You can freeze them, and it's really important to take these off as soon as you get them in your share. So I just twist them right off and set the turnips aside. I will probably eat those this week and make a, a turnip mash. So I'm going to preserve these greens. So you want to, the first step is to um, take them off their turnips. Um, with the kale, I like to de-stem them first. And you don't need a knife to do this. You can just pull them right off. And there's the stem. Really quick and easy trick for de-stemming kale. You can actually uh, preserve the, the stems as well. They just need to cook a little bit longer. So I like to do them separately. And once you've destemmed everything, uh, you'll take it over and wash it. Okay, now that you have washed your greens, you're going to get a pot of water boiling and add some salt. And the salt does a really good job to hold the nutrients in, uh, in the greens once they freeze. So I'm gonna grab my greens and we're gonna put them in here. All right, so you want a really full pot and every green has a different cooking time, so you can check out our, our greens freezing guide to understand how long each green should cook down. But these are gonna cook down really small and really fast. It takes about three minutes for kale. Uh, arugula and mustard greens are a little shorter. And so you wanna make sure that as these are boiling down, you get your ice bath ready because they're gonna cook really, really quick. All right, so I'm gonna push these down so they're completely submerged and you'll see they'll start turning a really nice bright green. Now, the reason that we have to blanch greens and we can't just flash freeze them um, is basically because their cell walls will break down in the freezer as they get wet and they'll turn into brown mush, mushy mush. <laughs> You can flash freeze kale, like put it straight in the freezer, as long as you use it within a week. But if you really wanna preserve these for winter, it's important to blanch them first. Okay, once those quick three minutes are up, we're going to put it into an ice bath. So I've got a big bowl of cold, of cold water and I'm gonna put a bunch of ice in there. And I love this pot because it's a strainer and a pot in one, so it makes my job super easy to strain. And then I'm gonna dump them right in here. And so this ice bath is going to stop cooking really quickly. We really want that kale to get nice and cold. So we're gonna let it sit in there until it's basically cold to the touch. Okay, once your kale is cold, you're gonna take it out and I squeeze out all that excess water. You're gonna make them into these little balls. It might seem weird and feel weird but they're gonna look like this. And then you're gonna put them on a cookie sheet. It's just like making cookies, just kale cookies. Um, really important to squeeze out as much water as you can. It's gonna help them stay nice in the freezer. And so once you do this, uh, you'll put the whole sheet in the freezer. They take about four hours to freeze. And then once they're done, I just pop them in onto, uh, into a freezer bag and they stay in my freezer and they'll stay good. Um, throughout the winter. Now, what do you do with frozen kale balls? That's a good question. So I like to make a uh, soup with them. You can do like a really nice uh, bean kale and sausage soup. You can make a uh, dip with them. You can make, uh, similar to like a spinach dip, you can make a kale dip. Um, you can put them into casseroles. You can put them into quiches. You can put them into stir fries. Um, there's really a lot of different uses and we're putting together a Pinterest board for you guys to give you some ideas and inspiration on what to do with your frozen greens. Now this is going to be the same method for everything from your, your uh, turnip tops to your spicy greens. Um, yeah, and that's how it's done. I hope 
hope you guys learned something new today. I can't wait to see what you pull out of your freezers this winter and cook with your summer greens. All right, we're all on our way to being CSA masters. <laughs> Have a good one.